Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll look at Apache Camel exception redelivery policy. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javainews.com. So in the Apache Camel section, go to standalone Apache Camel examples. In one of the previous tutorials we had done Apache Camel exception handling using simple example. So here we had seen that how exception handling code is written in Java. So you can go through this tutorial. So this will be the starting point for this tutorial. In this example we had thrown an exception and we had handled the exception. So now we'll apply the redelivery policy for uh, that exception. The source code for this example, it can be downloaded from here. Import this as a Maven project in Eclipse. So the current project that we are going to look at is Apache Camel Redelivery Policy using example. So uh, let's begin with this tutorial. So what is a redelivery policy? A redelivery policy defines the rules when Camel error handler performs de redelivery attempts. So whenever an exception is thrown, how many times it should be redelivered? That is configured using the redelivery policy. We also configure other parameters like the delay in between the attempts and uh, other other things. So we'll have a look at this. So this is the project structure that we are going to create. It is quite similar to the previous uh, project structure for uh, Apache Camel exception handling. So here I have imported the uh, source code for Apache Camel exception handling that uh, I had told previously. It is a Maven project. So now we'll apply the redelivery policy for this uh, example. So what we were doing here is uh, we have configured a route to copy files from one folder to another. We'll, I'll just delete this other route. We don't require it now for this example. Yeah. So we'll copy files from input folder to output folder. In between we have uh, written a uh, call to processor. In my processor we are currently throwing an exception. Uh, custom exception called as camel custom exception so this exception will get thrown and it will get caught by the on exception block here so currently if we run this example we can see that the exception is thrown and it is handled immediately by the on exception block but suppose if you want that before being caught by the on exception block the message it should try some number of times it should retry some number of times and then if it fails then it should be caught by the on exception block. For this, we uh, write the uh, redelivery policy. This may help us in scenarios like suppose uh, an exception may occur due to some network issues, which occur only for some milliseconds, but uh, then it again gets corrected. So we don't want that message to get lost by being caught in the on exception block. Instead, it should try some number of times, and then even if it fails, then it should. Uh, get caught by the on exception block and get handled. So let's uh, define the redelivery policy for uh, this exception that is being thrown from here. We'll write a, d a redelivery policy where this exception it, it would uh, uh, this message it would get attempted uh, five times and then if it fails then only it will get caught by the on exception block. So currently we were here it is throwing once. So here, this is how we define the redelivery policy. So here we have specified that uh, the retry attempted log it should be one. Maximum redeliveries will be five, and the delay will be five milliseconds. Next in the route we'll configure this uh, redelivery policy that we just defined. So we'll just copy this. Now we'll run this application again. So here we can see that the message it got uh, attempted five times 
and since each time it was throwing that exception then it got caught by the on exception block Next, uh, let us take a look at the on re delivery uh, processor. So, in some cases, we want that before the first re delivery is made, before the first attempt for re delivery is made, we want to do, uh, process the message. For example, suppose I'll write this logic in my processor. So, currently, here yeah, we were just throwing the exception each time. Now suppose if here I am checking that if the message exchange it contains input test only then throw an exception. So I will go to my input folder from where it is being copied. I will delete this file. I will create a new text file. And it will have an input message test. Now if I will run this, so yeah, the exception it is being thrown and then only it is being handled. So each time it is checking if the input it contains test, then only throw an exception. Now suppose if we want to correct some uh, data or the exchange data which will not throw this exception. So we can make that change in the before the first attempt is made that is before it goes in the on exception block. For that we use the redelivery uh, policy bean or processor. So let's create the redelivery uh, re processor. So what this re-delivery processor is doing is that it is getting the exchange and it is changing the body to test1. So uh, since we have the condition in the processor that only if it has test uh, as data then throw an exception. So once we set it to test1, our processor bean will not throw the exception. Next we will configure the re-delivery processor in a route. So for this we will have to write on re-delivery. So currently what was happening is that due to the re-delivery policy, the message it was getting retried some number of times and it was then getting caught. So now what will happen is that once the exception is thrown for the first time, it will then go to the re-delivery policy bean. Here the data will get corrected and then the message will be tried again. And this time it will not satisfy this condition so no exception will be thrown. So currently here the exception it will be thrown only once and then the message will pass through. So let's run this. So yeah as we can see that the exception it gets thrown once from here then it goes to our redelivery policy where we have set it to test1 so the second time it comes here it prints that the data is test1 but here it doesn't go inside the if block and uh, it passes successfully through our route so uh, this is why we use the redelivery policy in apache camel hope you have understood this tutorial uh, the source code it can be downloaded from here. Thank you.